on our last episode of Onboard Lifestyle. We kick project mode into high gear, and the crew works together to knock out as much as we can before we leave back to the States. It's a family affair today. We have a bit of fun with thickened epoxy. Thickened epoxy! And after a hard, hot week of work, we feel good about taking a decent bite out of our post-it project wall. That gets you caught up, so let's continue our story. So everything is good, right? Everything's everything good. Everything works good? So far, look at this. Look, here's our temperatures. This is our, our freezer right now, and this yeah. is our refrigerator. Good. Yes. Very normal. Very normal, yes. Yeah. And uh, this, sign, this tells me my history right here. So overnight, we were down to one degree, uh, and the high was only nine in there. And this shows our range here, depending on if we have the doors open yeah, or closed, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, during the night. Uh, so everything's running smooth. And I uh, thank you very much for no. uh, helping us out. Okay, no, but it was very nice work with you. Huh? Yeah. It was very nice. Okay, and a pleasure to meet you. Huh? Yes, <laughs> yes, thank you so much for doing this so <laughs> fast. Right. Got the camera in your face always. <laughs> okay, yes. To you, man. Th eh? Thank you so you much. Man. Thank Bye. you so much. You. Bye -bye. Bye. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Don't puncture it. I'm being careful, don't worry. <laughs> That's what I was trying to avoid. Don't come out with a broken finger or something. I won't. Just another day on SV Basic. Refrigeration. And schoolwork. Well, think about this. Refrigeration works great when you live in a cold environment. You start hitting these hot temperatures, high humidities, it starts working out. Hey, compass! I think you got him. Come on. This is actually a great time for us to uh, get this stuff fixed because we are in the winter time of Mexico, and it's only going to get hotter. And um, yeah, spring and summer are coming up. Really nervous about this summer. I'm gonna be. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. This is good news. Less than an hour since Gustavo and his. Uh, team left and we are at 11 and a half degrees Fahrenheit in the freezer and 42 in the fridge so this is good news meanwhile <laughs> here's teal doing everything I can to make sure that this ventilation in this box I mean I may add more who knows this as temperatures increase we must adjust well, the ventilation is only going to help the compressor not work so hard. That's right. When it works more efficiently, that's less amps, which means more battery and a happier fridge. I think it's pretty cool that we had this stuff already. Yeah. I mean, that's what we got all these little spare things for, knowing that we'd have to do things as we travel. Now look at this. It's starting to look pretty. Huh? Yeah. What? There we go. Now clean up the mess. And this project's done. Bum ba dum bum bum. Okay, this temperature started this morning at 40 and it is now at 30 degrees in the freezer. Obviously, that means that the refrigerator is going to go down eventually, too. I hear my fridge humming nicely. Hey, we're not... We're not done yet. We're not 
out of the woods yet. So, what, what did he do? We got a good jump. Okay, number one. The fan burned up, and that was the root of our problems. When the fan burned up, it was overheating the compressor. And that was the crunching, the moaning, everything was just unhappy in here. We put a, a fan on here to try to make it work for a while. But, but it just, what, what's different about the fan? Well, this is ingenious, but the original fan was in this slot here. It's impossible to get it out without tearing everything out, dropping this out, getting this out, and there's screws way back there. So he has mounted the fan on the opposite side now, and it's actually pulling air through this rather than uh, pushing it. So, Which actually is, uh, he said it doesn't matter either no, it way, right? But it, it makes it easier access. Oh, now I could, I could change the fan out in a heartbeat now. If this fan ever burns up, which fans do have a lifespan, it's, I mean, it's easy. I could replace this in 10 minutes now. We're going to be, on his recommendation, we're going to add some more ventilation into the uh, freezer box here. And there's still, the, the big question now is this right here. Look at it. Our 110 system. While this happened, when it overheated, the 110, this one's on 12 volt and 110. The 110 is not functioning. So there's an internal fuse in here or a circuitry that's burned up. Something happened when this overheated. He's looking for parts, right? And yeah, we didn't want to tear into this right now until he determines whether or not we could get the parts. Uh, parts of Mexico, as everyone knows, is sometimes uh, hard to get. And it's even harder because of the supply issues. Right, but right now, we don't need 110. We're running on 12 volt most of the time anyway, but it's nice to have the option of 110. Uh, but right now it's running smooth. It's humming along, sounds quiet, it's happy. And I'm uh, happy. Well, well, let's watch that temperature for the next two it's hours. It's been going down, so. Um, I know. I'm really happy about that. It's <sighs> at 40 degrees in the freezer, Teal. They, at least, you know what's nice? They have all the right equipment to check. Oh yeah, they checked the uh, the Freon. To the make sure the refrigerant. I don't. I don't think it's Freon anymore. I don't know what's in there, but they checked the refrigerant. Well, he called it Freo. They checked the pressure, because that was another concern I had was that maybe we punctured one of these lines and or we have a break in the system. But we had pressure. We've got a refrigerant. Everything else is looking good. So let's watch this today, and. Well, he's going to get back to us on whether or not uh, we need to replace uh, some circuitry in here. But besides that, I'm uh, sighing a little bit of relief. It's uh, it's at least, uh, it seems happy. And when it's happy, I'm happy. And when it's happy, you're happy. And if I'm not happy, nobody's <laughs> happy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. We'll just leave it open. He said. No, no, I'm going to leave one open and I'm going to um, start mapping out a ventilation up here. So the refrigeration guys are here and Teal's just kind of going over with them about what is going on with it. I am uh, hoping that everything can be fixed and it is a quick and fast fix as well. We were able to salvage um, all of the things that's in our fridge and freezer because we have a friend who has some freezer space. So thank goodness for them. We're going to grab everything and bring it over to them now. And uh, hopefully by the end of the day, or maybe tomorrow, who knows, things will be back to normal and I can have my fridge and freezer back together because I just, I can't live without it. I need it. <laughs> and that is the only way that I will be able to function on board. I know. <laughs> so sorry. What a thing to come back to, right? <laughs> Frustrating. Yeah. Anyways, I have faith in these guys. I have great fun. We are all now back on board. Now comes the hard part, or the fun part too, fun is part. unpacking all of our goodies. Yeah, there's uh, one of these is all of our clothes, the rest are stuff for the boat. Gear for the boat. Well, you know, she deserves it. Oh, she needs it. So, that'll be fun. But we also came home to a little situation. We did. The boat uh, looks good. A little looks dirty. That's not that dirty. It's dirty. A little bit of dust here and there, but, yep. What's the big problem? The big problem is... Right now, the big problem is well, our refrigeration. Yeah. 
hits the refrigeration. While we were gone, right as we were leaving, something went funny in our refrigerator. This thing, the Vitro Frigo has been bulletproof for, how long have we had it? Seven, eight years now? Yeah. Five, six, I don't know. No, it's been more, longer than that. Uh-huh. <sighs> Looking at the temperature, the freezer's at 24 degrees. It's usually at one or two. And the refrigerator is usually in the mid 30s. Yeah, about yeah. 33, 32 sometimes. So I know the fan went out. While we were up in the States, I picked up some spare parts for this and I'm hoping uh, that'll fix it. If not, we gotta start uh, figuring out how to fix it because we cannot live without refrigeration. No, we gotta have refrigeration. I need refrigeration, which means you guys need refrigeration. Do you remember it being this hot here? Well, we were just in Texas, and it was freezing in Texas. It was freezing. We got acclimated to cold real quick, and now all of a sudden, I'm sweating. Okay. I think it's just uh, being back and knowing that we have a ton of stuff to do before we head out of here. I know. That's right. Compass, right. Compass is, happy. is so happy to be back home. Back in his turf. Isn't that right, tough guy? He's not moving for the rest of the night. I can assure you that. So we're just waiting. Getting Compass checked in takes a lot longer than getting us checked in, huh? So far. Kind of smooth though. Kind of an interesting process. He's being really good. I am shocked how well he is behaving. He always behaves. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I think he's just happy to be back. It's like he can sense that we're going back on basic. Hi, baby. Happy to be home. Oh my god, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> It had been over two years since we saw my relatives that live in Texas, so I was super excited, especially to meet my littlest cousin for the first time. We spent an entire week mostly hanging out, eating amazing food, and just enjoying life on land. Food is a big part of our culture, so we did our best to participate in the daily feasts. This trip was extra special because my parents are now also godparents, and they were honored to be present for the baptism. And besides, it gave us another excuse to eat. The week flew by too fast, but I really had fun bonding with my cousins, spending time with my grandparents and aunts and uncles, and, well, the food. Did I mention there was so much food? Oh, and I saw my first Texas possum. While we were in the States, we had a lot of things to get done. We had to renew our visas, get our booster shots, get new cell phones because my mom's finally died, I got some new clothes because I outgrew most of my old ones, and most importantly, get lots of new boat parts and spares for basic. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. We are now just uh, entering the airport and uh, just wading through the traffic to the drop off. Looks busy here. And this is a weekday, so this is uh, nothing compared to a weekend, they said. We're just hoping that Compass stays nice and calm uh, for, uh, for the flight. He does not like being in his kennel when we are all out here. Compass, what do you think? You ready to go back to the States? Okay, we are officially <laughs> on U.S. land. For the first time in a while. Feels good. It was a quick flight. Compass did so good. It was his first one. And uh, even though he was stuck underneath the seat, he uh, behaved. So we just have to get through customs and then get picked up. But I am so excited. It just feels weird that we're back uh, in the U.S. But it'll be a good trip. 
and we're looking forward to it. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Ba -ba -ba. This is it. I think we're ready. Are you ready? I think so. We went through our checklist, extensive checklist. This is the first time we we're leaving the boat in, geez. It's been oh, a while. It's been a long time. I can't even remember the last time. This is the first time we're going to leave for 10 days. Long time, I guess, yeah. Okay, we got everything we need. We're bringing loads back to uh, put in storage. These are things that we don't need anymore. And we're going to bring a bunch of stuff back. And look at this. Everybody's wearing pants. I know, this is so weird. Pants. <laughs> I'm sweating already. It's Look. hot, but it's going to be cold in Texas, so you got to be prepared. Okay. Okay, goodbye, Basic. We'll be back in a few days. Be good. That was it. Did it tickle?